ghouls and gals, and welcome to my Halloween house tour. I have actually already posted a decorate with me video, so if you would like to see the whole process of decorating, as well as make some potion props with me, and even see my spooky bedroom reveal, then I will link that video in the description box below so you can check it out. But for this video, I will be doing a complete walkthrough of all of my decor, from the living room to the dining room and even the kitchen. So if you're ready, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, with that being said, let's move on to the house tour. This one's a long one, you guys, so make sure to grab a spooky snack. I am so excited. I feel like this is the best year yet. I definitely took this house from drab to spooky fab and I guess we'll just start with the windows right there so here we have the windows I did the best that I could the the side of the house is always kind of left last so whatever I had left is what ends up here <laughs> um, but I did add spooky cloth and I still had my sign that I made this is actually from like one of my blankets it had this like cardboard sign on it and I just put some ribbon around it made it a little sign because it said sweet and spooky and I thought that was cute and I have some garland and then I have these little silhouettes of haunted mansions and then I also have happy Halloween right there this happy Halloween sign has usually been my like main sign but as you will see it's kind of dark uh, since the sign itself is black and the background for all of this was dark I decided to put it up against the white background instead and I'll give you a closer look. There's the sign. And I have garland and creepy cloth and this weird tubey thing, which was actually supposed to be for the wreath I was supposed to make this year, but got far too lazy. <laughs> and um, well, it's mainly because I ended up using most of the decor that I bought from Dollar Tree to make the wreath. I actually use it like in my decor, so maybe next year, maybe, maybe next year. But anyways, I just wanted some kind of green over here, so that's the best that I could do. Uh, it's not very noticeable on camera, but in person it kind of looks like a neon like electric rope light kind of situation. So it looks cool. And then moving down, again we have the Happy Halloween sign, which um, kind of looks like Harry Potter writing font of it. And then I have just a bunch of random pumpkins lining the way and some tea lights as well. And these haunted mansion silhouettes, they're from Dollar Tree and it's like, it's supposed to be a craft. And I did do it as a craft with my husband, I think last year, and we painted, this was his. <laughs> and we painted each one to like our liking and then one of them, or I think two of them, Two of them we like switched every 10 minutes so we would add our own flair to it. And I think this is the one we did together actually because I remember painting this little ghost and the rooftop and stuff but my husband chose the lime green and the purple trim. So yes. Oh and I added the glitter of course. So <laughs> anyways I painted the back with matte black chalkboard paint and um they just look really, really cool. I mean, I could flip them around, but you know, I like the black, matte black silhouette better. And then, let me see. Is this one that I did? Oh no, this is his too. He really liked the green. I don't know what. Anyways. Yeah. So that means those are mine. Let's see. Oh gosh. Oh, no, this is one that we did together too. Did I not do one? What? Oh, this is mine. This is the one I did. Of course, glittery and purple. Okay, all right. Moving on. Let's go to the couch. And I have all of my Halloween pillows, which I did not realize had that many pillows this is crazy I only added only <laughs> only added three Halloween pillows this year you may have seen them in the haul I'll link that down below so you can check it out 
and this actually came with two other pillows one right there and one right there and these are so soft oh my gosh i was thinking of returning them but my husband was like no they're so soft and so i kept them but anyways we have the witches in and this one which is actually really cool it lights up let's see so cool then we have hey boo and we have my new friend our guest of honor this year vlad very very adorable he's a squish mallow. and we have this blanket right over here which matches with the blue pillow and i have another blanket behind here which is very celestial and i love this one i was actually going to return this one too but this is so nice and thick and plush it's just this one is probably the best quality throw blanket that i have so um, i'm really glad i ended up keeping it and i did always want an orange throw blanket a black throw blanket and a white throw blanket to match um, for halloween so uh, this is i think the first spooky blanket i ever got really really cute this guy is so adorable anyways so there's a blanket pretty much anywhere where anyone would sit wherever you sit on my couch you'll have some really cushy pillows and a wonderful throw blanket a spooky throw blanket now we are here at the coffee table and i'm not sure what i did last year but kind of similar vibes i think uh, i try not to watch my videos from previous years so that i kind of make it different each time but then i go back and watch it if i do get stuck or don't know where to put something anyways so this is the coffee table and i have my little cauldron right here and there's actually a little glow cube in there so at night when i show you everything lit up stay tuned for that that'll be towards the end of the video by the way that uh, i usually have it as green so it kind of looks like you know bubbling and if you're wondering that is pillowcase stuffing right there to look like foam and i found these orange roses this year from dollar tree and i have some little pumpkins in there and it all fit beautifully on this little cake stand and then i of course had to have a candle and let's see this one is called pumpkin carving and it's on this beautiful round felt pumpkin stand um or pumpkin candle stand and pumpkin carving this one is actually from last year i actually did not buy anything from bath and body works this year which was surprising but none of it's really caught my attention this year for some reason but anyways this is my favorite halloween candle my favorite fall candle in general like the, the scent is perfection um this one and even their haunted nights candle which i did not see this year those two are my favorite. I don't know why they keep bringing back other scents. Like, I know vampire blood is really popular, but I just, I don't like that scent. <laughs> but pumpkin carving, and hopefully they bring back Haunted Nights next year. And then we have this guy. His name is actually Morning Joe. Like, morning as in, like, uh, sad, you know, crying sad anyways <laughs> and he's from Gideon's Bakehouse and I decided to put him in the middle because I have my new teacup here which I got from Ross and it's this gorgeous black and gold teacup and then it has arsenic written in beautiful writing by the way and in metallic gold and so I just put some pumpkins in it and then over here we have two coasters and some more orange roses and a little pumpkin. I don't know where I got this pumpkin from. I think it's from Hobby Lobby, but I really want more of these pumpkins. They're so pretty. That is it for the coffee table. Let's move on to the mantle. Let me give you an overview first. And I just have like a ha random Halloween ambiance video going on in the back. But that is the mantle. And yes, that fireplace does work. It's not real, but you know, um, I need to find the remote. Again, I'll show you guys once it's all lit up at nighttime. So we'll start at the bottom. We have Mickey here with his little pumpkin patch, which I do every year. And then we have my new ghost friends right here. Um, I like to think of them as father and son. 
Uh, this one is from Cracker Barrel. This guy was supposed to be a dupe from Amazon. That video will be linked below for you guys as well. Over here, we have two Mickey pumpkins and my little gnome friends right in the middle. I just put them on a riser just so it could be a little bit higher. I just wish the riser was a little bit wider so that all three of them fit. But anyways, that's those guys. And then we have the witch from Cracker Barrel. She is so cool. I, I don't know, she looks very elegant too the way she's posed very very pretty and those lanterns by the way for the ghosts and the witch actually do work so you will see that at night and then right next to that is this ghost which um, you can actually adjust his height which i love but i made him tall so that he kind of covers up the plugs and i have more pumpkins and i love the way the pumpkins are arranged they kind of remind me of uh, cinderella's carriage really cool and then we have a little boo sign right here. Now we are back at the mantle and I have my two little brooms and I just hung them on the little knobs and they kind of look like they're floating because of the mirror. And then I have my little light here, which is really cool. I got this years ago from Walmart, I think, on clearance. And finally, we have the mantle itself. So uh, I draped creepy cloth, two of them actually, because I liked to see that it was like draping down the side. Um, I think last year I only did one, but I like this a lot better because I actually got more creepy cloth this year. So, and that is definitely a decorating tip. Use creepy cloth. It just totally transforms the space. It makes everything look more spooky. Just, just by draping the cloth itself, it's just perfect. So, <laughs> If you're just trying to spook it up a little bit more, uh, but on a budget, get some creepy cloth. I just, I literally like started, I think last year with creepy cloth and now I, I just can't de decorate for Halloween without it. Anyways, so on this end and both ends actually, I have these twiggy trees, which I got two years ago from Target. And I made these little Mickey ornaments, as you can see. I actually have the video of me making all these crafts and stuff. So make sure to check those out. I will link the playlist and the videos down below in the description box. Then we have some pumpkins and the fall lantern, some ghosty guys, these pumpkins, which I love. And I pretty much just mirrored everything as best as I could. I didn't have two ghosty guys like this. So I went with this guy right here. Look at him. How adorable. This year I did see a different version of him. Um, it's the same thing, but like he has like a spider on his head or something. So I'm glad I got this version because I hate spiders. And then right in the middle, I have this cauldron and I have some fairy lights in there. So at night when I turn on the lights, it looks like the cauldron is glowing and it just looks super cool. Anyways, it's a great done. Trick or treat. And then right below are these guys really cute this one is really weird because when i looked on michael's i saw this originally on michael's um on the website and this was so expensive i think it was like i don't know 40 to 60 dollars or something crazy and the only reason why i was on the michael's website is because i got like a five dollar coupon which i mean five dollars for like 60 bucks is not gonna do anything so i was pretty bummed and then literally i think not even a week later, I walk into Home Goods, and this guy was just waiting for me there. The only one, just like randomly, just right there. Same exact thing, which is so crazy. So I don't know what's going on there, but anyways, um, I would check Home Goods and Marshalls and places like that first, unless you have like really awesome coupons for Michaels. So, <laughs> anyways, I thought that was cool. Uh, so one more glance at the center right here. I like how the top is dark and it's kind of like like a spooky fall, like more autumnal though down here, you know, more orangey and then more black up there. But kind of just wanted to look like fall was indoors, you know. If I had more leaves, I would have definitely put them all over the house. Now right next to the living room is the dining room. Um, it's just one big room. I call it a great room. So. Anyways, here is a little overview. 
So as I do every year for pretty much every holiday, I tie these like tool ribbons um, on my chairs just so they match the vibe a little bit more. And unfortunately, I only had four orange ones and two black, but anyways, mixing and matching is fine. And the tablecloth are little ghosties, which I love. It's metallic and the ghosts are see-through, like real ghosts. I thought that was so clever. So there's that. And then we have the centerpiece, which is a tiered tray and some flowers. And I have two pumpkins. So I'll give you a close-up. Got this little this ghosty guy right here. This, by the way, was supposed to be a pumpkin. Um, it, it was supposed to look like this. It came in the same package, but I don't know what happened. But anyways, and then we have Mickey and some mugs on either side with some fun straws. And I do have some of the tool wrapped up in here. It kind of looks like smoking. And we have this little cute mummy mug, which I got this year as well. If you haven't seen my mug collection video or my mug haul, I literally doubled the amount of mugs that I had in, in maybe not even three weeks. It was crazy. I love Halloween mugs. <sighs> so, um, yes, I will link those videos down below as well, so make sure to check that out. Anyways, I have a little Hocus Pocus broom here. There's a little cat trying to climb up. He actually broke while I was decorating. This is why I can't decorate and film at the same time. I always end up breaking something. Last year was a pumpkin, this year was him. So anyways, there's that. I fixed him with some glue, but still very, very sad. And the bouquets, I just tried to make everything look as even as possible. Um, the best thing about Halloween is that nothing has to be perfect. The more kind of crazy it looks um, and mismatched, the better. So I just put a bunch of glittery twigs and flowers together and poke some pumpkin picks throughout. And I love it. And then last but not least, this little table runner. I think I got from the Target dollar spot years ago. So there is that. And then we have this, which is part of my mug collection. Um, but yes, this is the display. Most of them are Halloween mugs, as you can see. And on the top, I have this sign right here. And I love that sign. That used to always go by my coffee bar, but this time, um, I just, I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. It typically was like hidden behind my coffee bar, but I'm glad I found a spot for it on the wall. And then we have more creepy cloth and these two ladies. And they have their pet kittens with them. I like to think that they are twins, you know, twin sisters. Uh, twitches, there you go, twitches. <laughs> and I have my little wicked sign here with a mermaid and some random pumpkins. And before I forget, let me show you the light situation over here. I wanted to make the light fixture a little bit more spooky, but nothing too permanent. So I just had this extra spooky cloth. Um, I, I wish it was black, but I'm kind of glad now that it, it's not black because the hats would not stand out. So um, these I just made out of construction paper and painted it black. Literally took me 10 minutes to do five of them. Uh, yeah, and just tied them up with some, like, what is that called? Like fishing wire or something? Um, yeah. So they look like they're floating. Really cute. And then up there we have Vampire Mickey watching over and some garland going down. And I'll take you over here. Let's start at the bottom. Now this painting that I did a couple of years ago and we have this little side table which I am in love with. The Headless Horseman and Mickey and even this guy right here. 
all new. I have these beautiful pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. This guy, his head actually lights up, which you will see. Um, and I actually got him for a percentage off because it's very scratched up all over. I tried to place him accordingly and put pumpkins and things to cover him up. Um, I wanted to try and paint him, but he's not a matte black. He's, I don't know how to describe this paint, so I haven't attempted that, but this, this is fine. I'm totally pleased with this. And I have these apothecary jars with a bunch of velvet and glittery pumpkins. Then we have these little guys, so cute. This, again, is the same thing that happened to me with the whole Michael situation. I looked online and these were 40 to 60 bucks, somewhere around there. And then I found this at Home Goods. Like, it was the same day that I found the other one, but at a different Home Goods. So, it is out there. You just have to look. And then we have Mickey in his little costume and a little jack-o'-lantern next to him. are those pumpkins and right next to them are, uh, is my new little broom my magical broom which I love I got it from Cracker Barrel so there's that all right so now we are here at the apothecary shop and I absolutely love how this turned out I have some videos on TikTok showing you how I painted these and made these uh, look more Halloween-y. <laughs> um, very easy to do and very fun to do. And I even made these tiny little potion bottles, which I love. Oh my gosh, so cute. And really easy to do. This I got from Ross, and it's like a really nice heavy duty wood board. Even the uh, um, cashier was like, wow, that's really nice. I was like, thank you. Uh, I always love when I'm appreciated for my taste. But anyways, um, Okay, where to start? Let's start with this main one. So, apothecary shop. And um, I did use actual, like, oh gosh, sealing wax. And each seal is different. Um, I just had too much fun doing that. This is a selenite crystal. I have them sprinkled all about. And this also I got from Home Goods in like a packet of six or something. I love crystals. I always loved collecting rocks as a kid, and crystals are just shiny rocks. So I love them. And let's see. Show these little tiny guys right here, also sealed. And these are just glitter, but just thought it was really cool. Kind of reminded me of sand art, if you've seen that, you know? Yeah. This used to be a nail polish bottle. <laughs> yeah. Super duper cute. And let's see. Oh, and of course I have this little ghost succulent. I actually bought all of these spooky succulents to make a spooky garden but I did not find what I was looking for to contain them so that's why they ended up here and I do not mind them one bit here are some more this butterbeer when you shake it it actually um, is like glittery so I really like that I love the label too and in the middle, as you can see, I kind of went with a oil slick theme right here. Here's that. And another succulent ghosty. This candle smells amazing, new from this year. Again, video will be linked. And this Skelly Girl potion bottle that I made. Oh my gosh, so cute with the little skeleton. I think that used to be soy sauce. <laughs> but. Over here with the last one, we have this little guy. I think he's supposed to be a bat, but he reminds me of Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. And then we have another form of butterbeer, a much glitter glitterier one. <laughs> Look at the nutrition facts, that's so cute. So that is the apothecary shop. 
Let's move on to the staircase. Um, I just have garlands going down both the rails and then down here I have my little another little broom and two pumpkins this pumpkin is so cool um, I had to fight every urge that I had to buy more of these pumpkins because I really don't know storage wise where to keep all these but they are from Hobby Lobby if you're interested I just like how it's like slanted you know like on its side it looks so whimsical and over here we have my fall wreath one day i will have a halloween wreath one day whether i make it or find a good one but i'm being really picky i just can't seem to find a wreath that has orange black purple and green i just i uh, can't seem to find it anywhere anyways that is my fall wreath and then right above we have these they're kind of i think they're made of like a sweater material um and felt and it's like a squishy garland really cute okay, we have some hats candy corn ghosties adorable and then that is a light curtain which you will see at night and then over here we have the coffee station yeah, let's let's start over here so we have this guy, which I kept from our travels to New Orleans. This uh, what held, I don't know, a margarita or something? Or a daiquiri. It says daiquiri right there. Oh my gosh. But I thought the bottle was cool. I don't know where the straw is. The straw was huge. But anyways, there's that. And then this one we made together a couple of years ago. And it's supposed to look like pumpkin syrup. But there's nothing in it, obviously. Just for decoration. And we have Mickey over here, Mickey pumpkin mug. And this is actually from a Harry Potter cauldron bowl that I got a couple years ago. And it's supposed to look like a bubbling cauldron. So I just, it's like a cardboard cutout. I just keep it in here. And next we have this candle, which is what I was talking about. The Haunted Nights candle smells amazing. It smells like a really handsome vampire roaming around his castle or something. Um, or mansion. And then over here we have the Snow White and Evil Queen tear tray. My favorite Disney villain is the Evil Queen, so of course had to have a tear tray for her. We have a poison apple that we made together a couple of years ago again. And I have these little straws. It's actually these straws that I just cut in half. And it's elevated on this little candle which I got this year, which smells amazing. Um, and then behind there, if you can see, uh, I have the Disney Villains wine glasses, which I got a couple years ago. And then on top, I have this little sign, which I got from Dollar Tree, pumpkin spice and everything nice. I couldn't decide between the Evil Queen or a Gideon's Bakehouse theme, so I did both. And so here, I just have a small stack of these little containers that your treats come in. And... I just framed um, one of the menu cards and this frame I actually made this was like a frame from Dollar Tree or something again I think I filmed that from last year I'm not sure but really easy to make and then this little card is also from Gideon's so that is the coffee station and when we turn around I have this random little fall station right here um i'm not sure what made me do this i, I don't know but uh, i just saw these sitting together as they were and i just got this recently from my travels to canada so i wanted to put this on display as well so i need a little fall station situation setup whatever you want to call it um, mainly because I don't know if I'm going to be decorating separately for Thanksgiving this year again. Uh, that's why I kind of did like a Halloween instead of pure Halloween. But uh, I just don't know if I'll have time. But still, so cute. These are new. The candle is new. Um, let's see. All from Home Goods. This is let's see, pumpkin spice latte. Candle from White Barn. I just have a little Hello Fall sign right there. Really cute. 
And right next to that, we have my little cauldrons. I just have some random, they're not even bouquets. I, I'm not sure what you would call them. They're just a bunch of glittery twigs put in vases. <laughs> And I put some decorative tool inside the cauldron to make it look like smoke is bubbling out. And then of course we have the Mickey jack-o'-lanterns. These um, are smaller than the ones that you saw by the fireplace. And then right below, um, just to cover up the outlet, <laughs> I have this little pumpkin basket very autumnal, perfect for Thanksgiving, very easy to do. All of the velvet pumpkins I got from Hobby Lobby, um, even the random leaves and even the leaf garland, all from Hobby Lobby. And these pumpkins are probably some of my favorite pumpkins ever. I love the colors. And then, um, oh, this is just random. This is what I have been drinking today. Some tea and some water. And yes, this is my main mug for the spooky season, which I got this year. I love this mug. All right, let's move over here. This again is a random little setup right next to some produce. <laughs> um, I have a little Mickey right here and some cool mugs. And this is a new candle, which matches perfectly with that blanket that I showed you earlier, the celestial blanket. And there's also some tea towels, which I'll show you in a minute, that matches this beautifully. So if you're into the celestial theme, um, these are from Home Goods. I have this magical pumpkin and a little plug-in, maple leaf plug-in back there. And Mickey is holding everything up in his little vampire getup. All right, so let's move to the stove. So this is my towel set. Looking a little rough. <laughs> Had this for a few years now. Um, and then I have my little party dish, which I got brand new this year. I can't wait to use this for Halloween movie night with my husband. It's gonna be so fun. I'm going to have a bunch of little appetizers or something in it. And then you put the toothpicks in here and it's so cute. Oh my gosh, so, so adorable. I can't wait. Really adorable. Oh my gosh, look at him. So cute. So there's that. And then I have these towels, which are the ones I was telling you guys about. The sun and the moon. And it's actually metallic. Really cool. Very pretty. And also, before I forget, I did switch out my soaps for the season. I have Perfect Pumpkin, which is a foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works. And then I have this dish soap from, I actually got this from Home Goods, but it's by, let's see, Backcountry? And it does smell like pumpkin spice, so very, very on theme. I'll give you guys one more glance, the overall view. Alrighty, gals and ghouls. So that was it for my Halloween decor walkthrough and house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will now show you guys the entire house again, as well as at night with all the lights on, all while listening to some amazing copyright-free music for your enjoyment, of course. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Halloween!
Thank you.